Well, that storm that hit early this morning left many people spending their Sunday cleaning up the mess, some with worse damage than others. Most of Sioux Falls received heavy rain and quarter size hail, as well as 60 to 70 mile per hour winds. This caused down power lines and fallen branches. KDLT's Miranda Page spoke with several homeowners who got hit pretty hard. <laughs> It's been a long day for some residents of Sioux Falls. I was watching the rain and the hail come through the front and all of a sudden he came in the back door and said the big tree just just went down. Several thick branches snapped off covering the Patch family's entire backyard. I didn't really know what to think. I just kind of was in shock. They've spent a majority of the day sawing and working to remove the pieces. Not how they thought they'd be spending their Sunday. No, no. Um, you know, you would think that it's pretty sturdy, but you never know. You know, and around this neighborhood, it's like hit and miss on which houses got hit. Luckily, no one was hurt and nothing was ruined. It was a little nerve wracking because we couldn't really see what damage was done at two o'clock this morning. But for one family living near 18th Street, they watched as their in-laws minivan parked in their driveway was crushed by a big tree branch. Very frightening. It came very close to the windows. The wind was very hectic, very, very much blowing. The thunder was uh, roaring and the lightning was just very bright. Mary Hublot says the last time she saw any damage to the tree was during the ice storm five years ago, but it wasn't as bad as this. Now she's just trying to stay positive. But nobody got hurt and that's the upside of it. We have um, our friends from church and our family has come to help us. Down the road, Cherry Rock Park was also impacted. Trees fell onto the train tracks and blocked the park's entrance. The park remains closed until crews finish cleaning up the debris. In Sioux Falls, Miranda Page, KDLT News. Sioux Falls Parks and Rec is asking people to be cautious in and around Pike parks and the bike trails as there could be some damage.